Yet another appeal for caution on the nation's streets, and it comes th this time from amidst news that over 171 persons have died in road crashes so far in 2019. The figure is 30 more than the same period last year. The authorities are, however, hoping to counter the carnage with additional monitoring on the roads. TBJ's Dwayne Anderson reports. Vice Chairman of the National Road Safety Council, NRSC, Lucian Jones, says Jamaica is headed for a national disaster by year end. He pointed to a worrying increase in the number of road fatalities so far in 2019 when compared to the same period last year. He made the revelation while also commenting on one of the latest road tragedies, which involved a Teachfield High School student earlier this week. The highest minibus transporting several students careened from the Black Hill Main Road in the parish and plunged into a ditch. The bus was well over its assigned carrying capacity. And a 13-year-old child, and we must not forget his name, Pranjil Jeste, died because of a road crash. 11 children have died to date on our roads. 171 people have died on our roads compared to last year, 141. If we don't work together, then over 400 people will die on our roads this year, which will be a national disaster. For the NRSC official, taxi men and minibus drivers are the main cause of what he calls the mayhem on the nation's streets. He's therefore welcoming the state's plans for a larger monitoring system. We want to thank the Prime Minister and the members of the Parliament for giving us a new road traffic act. We want to encourage them to make sure it's enforced so that all these taxi men and all these minibus drivers who are causing mayhem on our roads can be stopped. We want to thank the Prime Minister for pushing, and he's the one who's been pushing for electronic enforcement so that we can have cameras all over the place to stop people from speeding. The NRSC chairman, wary of the party activities that follow public holidays in Jamaica, urged caution and responsible behavior among road users as they go about their business into the night. Dwayne Anderson, TVG News.